your team, this is last month, I believe, your team did 171K, you had 21 writers, and you personally sold $41,000 of personal production. Yes? Yes. Wow. It was a, oh. it was a busy month. Yeah, very busy. I mean, so let's break that down. So, so if someone wanted to write 41,000 in production, um, what would they need to do? Hey, welcome back to the CA Power Players Podcast. Today we have the only agent to win the Ultimate Agent so far, Ultimate Agent Season 1 winner. Welcome back to the channel and the podcast, Amanda Lunsford. Hello. I'm excited to be here. Yes. Nervous as usual too, but excited. Yeah, uh, you're awesome. We, we and, and You know what? It, it, when you were selling in the house on Ultimate Agent Season 1, um, you didn't have a headset though, did you? No, it was it, it was really hard for yeah, sure. Yeah, because I know you yeah. normally use a headset every time you sell. Yep. Which is smart, by the way. You know. Um, I'm half yeah, deaf, we, we, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It, that, if, it, when that clearly helps a lot, you know. What we what we may need to do is like Survivor, and you get to take like one item. You know. Maybe we should have had. Hey, you can get one sales item. You know. You get well, a I'm, belt, you get, I'm a light packer, so I only brought a backpack and like I didn't but, check. I just carried on. You took a backpack for that whole week? And uh, the rolling. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So wow. these things couldn't really be packed. Very that's well. true. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Well, you've had a ton of um, success. I just kind of want to update everybody on what's going on with you. Also share some cool tips and tricks of what you got going on and what they can learn from. Um, for those that haven't watched the show, go watch the show. It's, it's seven episodes. It's got its own Ultimate Agent playlist. You get to see a bunch of Amanda Lunsford. Also Michael, Patrice, Johnny, and Moon. Uh, Awesome cast for season one. And for if you want to be on future episodes of the Ultimate Agent, you can go to ultimateagentcontest.com to apply for future episodes. Thank you to Brett for getting that page up and ready. Okay, so uh, you have your team. This is last month, I believe. Your team did 171K. You had 21 writers. And you personally sold $41,000 of personal production. Yes? Yes. Wow. It was a, oh. It was a busy month. Yeah, very busy. I mean, so let's break that down. So, so if someone wanted to write forty-one thousand in production, um, what would they need to do? You think a, a very structured schedule? Yeah, and and uh, uh, suffocate any, any excuses. Mm. Uh, definitely. So, I, I always say Google Calendar is my boss, and she's pretty bossy. So as long as, as long as you put it in there, um, it'll uh, obviously alerts you just like this podcast. It's like, totally. get ready for it. That's exactly right. I mean, literally uh, I, I can totally relate. I mean, my, my schedule today is like, you know, it's, it's like a couple pages long, you know? Oh I mean, it's, yeah. I saw like, you posted a couple days or maybe last week and I'm like, whoo, it's a little more than mine. It's but a lot. Yeah. You are a hard worker, so. Thank you. Well, you are too, and you worked super hard on the show, and you continue to do that, obviously. Um, but that's an important piece, you know. I think two things you already said that I love. Very structured schedule, and also suffocating excuses. Um, how, <laughs> it's interesting, like you're working with agents and writers, so you hear excuses all the time. Um, why do we think that that like gives us an out to just be average or subpar, or, like why that's like, okay to do, you know what I mean? Like so many agents give those, I'd love for you to talk about that piece. Yeah. So many, I, I truly believe the excuses start because the lack of belief in themselves. Ooh. Yeah. I mean that, uh, cause I was there. Um, I just celebrated two years in the business October. Um, and Congratulations. Thank you. And when I first started, I had a lot of excuses mm. and it took me a lot longer, um, you know, making it harder on myself. You know, yeah. if you, if you plug into a, a system that's already being success, you know, successful, then it's just plug and play and yes. you just have to be consistent. Consistency is the hardest part. It's just True. like, you know, I'm trying to get back in the gym a little bit and I'm like, and then it's a little cold and I use that as an excuse. Like, oh, yep. I don't want to go to the gym. It's raining today. Cold. It's rainy. Yes. It's, it's early. My body aches. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Maybe, maybe I need a break. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. I'm, I look good anyway. I don't really need this. You know? <laughs> 
exactly. But I also noticed that, you know, as we get older, we need that, that exercise and that stretching. So I, um, so there's a lot of things like I actually just started some self-development again. Uh, As soon as I came home from the wedding, I was reading 10 pages a day uh, for the last three days because I'm trying to, and it's called change your mindset, change your life. Mm. And that's what most people need is the mindset shift. Yeah, but they don't think they need it and they don't want to talk about it, but that's ultimately what they need. You know, they, it really is true. It is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's odd that that's the case too. Um, your daughter just got married. Mm-hmm. So you're just yep. coming off the wedding. I think this past weekend. Uh, uh, yeah, it was, uh, yes. La- just the weekend. Uh, beautiful, beautiful day. 75 degrees. Wow. Uh, right in the middle of um, the mountains. So the background of the whole wedding was mountains. So, where, where, where was that at? In the Carolinas it was, somewhere? No, it was in um, Tennessee. We wanted, yeah. since most of, we're originally from Indiana, uh, we kind of w- uh, wanted to be between Indiana and South Carolina cool. to make it easier for the guest. I love it. Tennessee's a great spot. Well, tell yeah, her congratulations. That's awesome. Um, so then you start jump back into personal or self-development. What, what got you to jump back in and start reading? Because there's a lot of agents that make the excuse, I don't like to read. Or, or I don't read, or I'm just not good at reading, or I can't comprehend what I'm reading. You know what I mean? There's, again, suffocating excuses. I used to tell myself I don't like to read, so I, I can relate to what they're saying, you know? Before, I, I totally agree with that. Before I started this business, I had probably hadn't put, picked up a book since college. Mm. Um, and, you know, I'm in my 40s, so college wasn't last week. So I... Um, I noticed that's what made me start coming out of that darkness that I was in. So when, when I, my a couple agents uh, needed some help, I said, well, let's do it together. Let's all three order the same book and uh, read it together. And then we can just talk about it, you know, cause we get on zoom a lot and just like, you know, talk about different things to help us get better. Yes. Yes. The, the book, Change Your Mindset, Change Your Life. Why'd you pick that one and where that one come from? Did you already own it? Did you buy it? Um, I bought it on Amazon. It was actually a suggestion of one of the agents. So mm. I'm, I'm a very, uh, you know, flexible person. I'm like, okay, sounds good. Amazon order. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. anything with mindset is good. My next one, I think I'm going to do traction. It's called traction. Yes. And I see a lot of people posting it. So I'm like, why? Well, have you read it? No, I have read some and our marketing team was going through it because it's really good for like leadership and running a team. Yeah. Um, And the integral details of meetings and you know what I mean? Like just big, like moving rocks around it as as a metaphor for a company, you know, it's a, and, and Edward Pritchett always recommends it too. So. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've seen it all over the place. So I'm like, I need that one next. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Um, So let's talk about the schedule. So you talk about a very, having a very structured schedule which is really important. Like how many appointments are you setting? When are you dialing? Like to put up 40 K in a month, what does some, as a life insurance agent, what does somebody need to do? I usually at least have three. It's not di- dialing, um, you know, so many hours. I, the first part of the week, um, our week starts on Thursday. So okay. I usually, I, I, I'm a Thursday dialer. Love it. Uh, so Thursday evening for Friday appointments or Saturday and then Saturday mid morning for Saturday evening or Sunday appointments. Um, but I at least dial probably six hours, six to eight hours a week for at least 15 appointments. Okay. And I don't do all of my, I, I probably maybe do 5% zoom appointments and then about 95% phone. Oh, most just phone. Okay, cool. Just that's why doing in home, you know, over the phone, like at the contest was pretty, that was my normal. Yep. Yep. Um, most just phone 15 appointments. And then do most of them show like what's your, if you were to back down in some of the numbers from those appointments that you're scheduling, I would say probably about 70, not 78% um, show. And, okay. um, that it's about 75 uh, 75 to 80%. And, um, sorry. No, you're good. No worries. Absolutely. Um, but, um, and I would probably say I close about 60% of those. Okay. So, but you probably run around 12 and then you probably close about, uh, let's call it seven. Yeah. But the thing is, is 
that's seven households. Usually ah. I'm doing multiple apps. I'm big on protecting the whole family. Like the mm, kids. that's good. And then I also offer, you know, bring up referrals. I, that's one thing I'm good at is referrals. Actually. I get that from the real estate days. The yep. answer is always no, if you don't ask. Yeah. And that's one thing I noticed on the ultimate agent, I got a few things I want to go to, but on the ultimate agent, you did a good job of getting, I think one of your bigger sales was from a referral. Yep. That you were able to close. I think the very last day, mm -hmm. not mistaken, which puts you over the edge, you know, um, I wrote her, I wrote the original on Sunday, but yeah. 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 So you wrote and the I, original one on Sunday and then yeah. you wrote the referral on Wednesday referral. on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Which was the final day of the contest. You know, and, and it's interesting because if you wouldn't have thought about the referral or ask or got it, that was a big, I mean, you may have won either way, but that was a big sell, you know? Well, and I reminded her too on like Monday mm. or Tuesday, um, like I was laid in bed, you know, couldn't sleep and I have an Android. <laughs> uh, still? <laughs> an Android, you can schedule text messages at 1 a.m. to have them delivered the next day. Can you really? And I always have them delivered. This is, you know, at 11. Can you not do 11. that with an iPhone? Can you not do that? No. Can you not schedule flipping text uh, messages? I think they just added that actually too. Oh, they well, you guys are moving up. <laughs> they need to freaking do that. Are you kidding me? I always have, yeah, I always have it delivered at 11, 11, you know, for uh, good luck. Oh, I'm going to do that and not tell my wife. Cause we're used to texting each other at like five 55 and yeah. two 22 and stuff. Yep. You know what I mean? 11, yeah. all that. There you go. And she gets it. She gets me. I'm going to start scheduling them all. And she's going to be like, how the heck do you never miss one? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're set for life. If it means I got to get an Android, I'm out. Yeah. You know? My marriage <laughs> exactly. will just take a backseat. No big deal. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, I love that you do that. So there was, okay, so the referral piece, here's one thing that happened. Like, I believe that when you're in a contest, you're in a pressure cooker, you're in a competition, you had urgency to help as many people as you could in a short period of time. A lot of people would mention a referral, maybe. Maybe they wouldn't mention it. Maybe some people wouldn't mention it. You mentioned it, but you also took it a step further and then on the next day or two, you went back to mention it again, right? Um, well, yeah, you have to. The, it, uh, one rule of thumb that I like to remember in this business: uh, the biggest pest wins. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't be. You can be pest, uh, pest, in, be, but tactful. Uh, yeah. But sometimes when I'm purchasing something like you know car insurance, you know I put it on the back burner when I already have something. That's good. So biggest That's pest really wins. Good. So just keep reminding them. Yep. Yep. They'll tell you um, to go away. <laughs> they will. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the household piece for a second. So the household piece, a lot of agents are like, they're just so desperate for a sale that they're like, okay, I got one. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to feel pushy or greedy or anything else. I'm just going to take the one and I'm going to leave and I'm going to like get out as fast as I can. You know, um, talk about how you're probably slowing down. You're trying to do what's best for the family. You're not in a rush, you know, you're not just trying to be a policy peddler and grab a sell as fast as you can and leave. But that's how the mentality of most salespeople are, whether they'll admit it or not. That's the truth, you know. Yeah. No, I yeah, I I'm big on finding the thing is is if I truly look at this business is if you talk to them like a friend, yeah. You are truly just now helping your new friends find the best policy with the most value. Yeah, uh, they could have been with a globe life policy without living benefits, and I am putting them in a much better space. Mm. When they see that referrals come easily, because by the time the referrals come, you're just kind of in a, like an order taker. Yes, because your clients are already, you know, hyped you up. So, mm. so I don't look at it as like pushing policies. I look at it like maybe their family members in a bad policy. I love let's just second opinion, like a doctor, you know, just let's That's make right. sure there's a lot of times I'm like, no, I, I wouldn't touch it. You're yeah. great. Yeah. And it happens, you know, it does. Um, yeah. That's good. You've shared some really good stuff. Well, what is something that we, I mean, what type of leads are you working? Like are you cool to talk through some of that? Yeah, actually it's kind of funny. Um, I was talking to Trey Honeycutt about like a month or two, yep. and I was telling him I cool. wanted some some other lead sources too, and um, he mentioned Cindy. And I'm like, Cindy, Cindy, that sounds familiar, Cindy Seal. And I was like, I was like, 
that's the lady that had the leads at Ultimate Agent. So I, yeah. she calls, she was, I didn't even know she was at 8% either. She was, we get on the phone and she's like, I'm so proud of you. And, you know, she's, I was like, hey, I love your leads. Can, I want to get on some of it. So do we, for a great price, you know, just do a thousand, you know, drop. And I even that's considered awesome. doing Nebraska again, because it was actually had good uh, numbers. Yeah. Yeah. She I don't was, blame you. I love how she was going through the percentages and she even sent me a lengthy email. And yes. so I trust her obviously because Trey likes her. Trey called her the godmother of leads. <laughs> oh, I love it. You're going to have to, we're going to have to send her, you're going to have to send her a clip, little snippet of this part of the episode to yeah. a little interview. Um, so we're talking about Cindy seal with insurance marketing hub. She was our direct mail lead sponsor for ultimate agent season one. And she's awesome. We love Cindy. Yes. That's yes. So cool. That's what I was telling her. I was like, I liked your leads because I remember him very, you know, uh, probably the six one call closes I did on day three and day four. Those were all of those leads. Wow. Because I look back and I can tell which ones are hers, obviously. Yeah. Actually, I just closed a Nebraska lead. I still work them. They're in my dialer. The same ones? Yeah. I mean, they're in there, so they haven't been. Re what? What's the... Yeah. Uh, the best, you know, I always say in this business, focus on the activity and the results come because, and that comes with resolving each lead. It doesn't mm. matter if you bug the, but see, I'll be honest. I'm not a triple dialer. I'm more of a double yep. with a te with a text. Okay. I like so, that. I love I the text. I love now too. So. Yep. Yep. I love the text. You know, yeah. I love, love, love the text. Um, I was fixing uh, something I was fixing to ask in relation to. Cindy. I don't know if, it was, if it was Leeds or Cindy or what. Yeah, I, I, I lost it. Oh, here's, here's what it was. What would you say if you had to look back on the last six months? It's actually been six months since we first like met and started working on yeah. Ultimate Agent back in April, right? We started recording in April. Six months. What would you say is the biggest lesson that you've learned over these last six months? Like what, um, what do you, if you had to pick one thing that you've, learned or taken away from this whole experience these last six months in general it's almost like the so a line of a, a journey song uh don't stop believing in yourself yeah big time um i used to struggle with that a little bit more um before ultimate agent mm. and i still have moments of it but it's i'm crazy. like you stop that <laughs> you know that's it's right Get out of your own way is really the biggest lesson. Good. And because I know you uh, have told me a, a few times, you, you have people that, uh, you know, majority of the people love you, but then you still have naysayers that oh my gosh. Will try to bring you down. And I'm like, yeah. nope, nope. They're not happy with themselves. I try to remember that. You're 100% accurate with that. Yeah. E even that person that couldn't admit it, like they are 100% not. And a lot of people are not you know, please with themselves. Like everybody goes through struggles and, you know, a lack of belief, so to speak. And then we make excuses, you know, I mean, even a few weeks ago, I made an excuse. I'm like, yeah, my hip hurts. And then I don't, I didn't go to the gym one day. You know, it's like, dude, you know, everybody's human. We all make yeah. excuses. We all, we all make mistakes. It's just those that notice it and try to eliminate as much of those as we can, you know, which is important. It's impressive that you're sharing that too. That's good. Yeah. No, I, I try, you know, I, like I said, I still have on my mirror, uh, I'm a badass mofo and I can come on, things. come on now. <laughs> Every, I told, I was actually saying it right before this podcast. I'm like, remember, I'm a <laughs> you know, you have to psych yourself out sometimes. Yes. I still get nervous on certain things. You know, you wouldn't think I'd get nervous anymore since I'm used to the cameras, but right. it's, it's, it's Cody Askins. That's right. Nah, that's funny. <laughs> Have you, have you seen, uh, you remember the movie Cool Runnings, uh, yeah. Jamaican bobsled team where yep. he's in the bathroom psyching yep. himself up and he's yep. making him repeat stuff, you know? Oh, for sure. That's what, that's what you just made me think of. It's, uh, yep. it's such a good movie. I need to go back and watch that movie. That's oh what God. Nate Offert did. You remember I was telling you, yes. he, he yes. was like, what'd you say at future casting? I think you called it. Yeah. Where he like puts you in the future. Yeah. Correct. Psyching yourself he, he had out. You, he had you talking at 1 a.m. and cheering like you had just won and everything else, you know. I tell you what, that's He's what crazy. It, it was the trick. Yeah, that dude's a beast. Thank, thank you, them. Nate Offer. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, well, Amanda, you're awesome. I appreciate you sharing today. If someone wants to go follow you, talk to you, reach out to you, how would they go about 
talking to the ultimate agent? Um, Amanda Lunsford on uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Amanda Insurance on Instagram. And yeah, I just ta- I just tagged it, so it Sorry. is Amanda Insurance. Yeah, yeah. Insurance. Yeah, and uh, my phone number is 317-385-6529. But I also did want to mention um, – I am hosting the Six Figure Society on the 28th at 5 p.m. So, and oh, I, I'm very thankful to you for uh, asking me. So, oh, you. absolutely. You're awesome. We love working with you. For those that are not sure what Amanda is referencing, that's called Six Figure Society. You can go to sixfiguresociety.com. We are giving, right now, we're giving agents access to 26 different courses, a weekly live coaching, 13 different industry instructors a signed copy of my book and a bunch of other stuff for only 49 bucks, right? So you yes. can go to Six Figure Society and check it out. And then in a couple of weeks, you'll be hanging out with Amanda Lunsford live on Zoom as she shares some more insider secrets about the ultimate agent and how she is crushing it and living the ultimate life. Thank Amanda, you, you're, sir. yeah, you're awesome. Thank you for being on. Thank you for being a part of this. And thank you for jumping on and being on another interview. Awesome. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you being on the Power Players podcast. Go to ultimateagentcontest.com to register and maybe you'll be the next Amanda Lunsford. See you next time. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Hey, I'm back with another interview, man. Special guest today, a tech wizard today. Okay. My buddy, Mr. Corey Bell from Lead to Client CRM. What's up, Corey? How you doing, Cody? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, man. I'm doing awesome, brother. Appreciate you asking. Uh, so I would love for them because you've got a